Stanford University. Good morning, my name is Christopher Gardner. I uh, work at the Stanford Prevention Research Center as a nutrition scientist, but my thrill is running this every year. This is year five. This is our logo from year one. We never actually thought we would do it again. And there was two, and there was three, and there was four. And we didn't know, but yes, in fact, there's five. Thank you for coming to five. <laughs> so the next slide is going to acknowledge Food Day. One of the years we did this was Food Day, and Food Day was October 24th. The Center for Science and Public Interest does that. I want to acknowledge that we didn't hold it on Food Day. We actually hold it on Wednesday because the med school and the business school students, that's their freest day. And those are big contingents that we often get. Thank you, Andrew. I want to start out by thanking very much the generous funders for this. So, so far every year for the last five years, it's mostly the provost and the deans. This year, Shirley Everett and um, R and DE signed up to help us with this. So that was great. And Harry Elam from the Vice Provost of Undergraduate Education. Uh, here's a picture of a bunch of deans. Paul Fisher from Human Biology kicked in. Neutralite Health Institute is kind of our backup when we can't cover everything. So that's very helpful. Uh, I don't know if Howard Zach is here yet. There's Howard, all right. And I don't know if Heather Blackie or Willie are here yet, but we have some really awesomely generous sponsors who have helped give us some money to do some research on the side. So the provost and the deans help us pull this off, but some other folks help us to reach out to partners and do things with students and community partners. So I want to thank them. Is Antonella here yet? I'm going to embarrass the heck out of her if she is. If she isn't. I'll embarrass her later. Antonella ran the first four summits, and she left us this year, oh my god, to become a chef. And so Antonella got some chef training, and she's now a personal chef. So we had a huge team to fill her shoes, so I want to thank all the staff who helped to do that. And uh, one final slide of those staff. These three in particular were instrumental in getting all this done, so a round of applause for all the staff. What an endeavor. So 500 people registered for the Food Summit. In fact, I think we hit the registration limit faster than ever before, so thanks for signing up. Um, we have, once again, a community board out there where we have community partners with an offer and students asking for internships. And this year, it's even more organized, and it's online. So that's helpful. So look for those out in the lobby. We didn't provide a breakfast or a morning snack, so there, I want to tell you there is an Ariaga Alumni Cafe around the corner. All right, so what's, oh, and I got one other detail. So we have new name tags this year, and there's a new idea. And the new idea is we were going to put name tags on both sides, but we didn't. It's only on one side. And you know how easy these flip? OK, so go to the other side and put an ask or an offer and write it by hand. Mine says asking for community partners for student internships. And then depending on how comfortable you are with your personal space being dented, if you feel appropriate, walk up to somebody, grab their name tag, and flip it over. It's on the wrong side. <laughs> you can either see who they are or see what their ask is. You want to try that? OK, this is our new thing, this new icebreaker thing. Use the name tag to your benefit. Write the ask or offer on one side, and your name's on the other. I don't know. We're, we're trying this. Let's see if that works, OK? So, and if, if your personal space says, don't touch my name tag, you can write, don't touch my name tag on the front. So today's Food Summit 5. Like before, we are trying to build a learning community on this campus. We're trying to connect academics, scholars, community partners, movers and shakers. Who's moving the food world? We want to change social norms, and we really think Stanford is a great nexus for this with geographical partners like the Culinary Institute of America, the Berkeley Food Institute, Santa Cruz, uh, there's so many partners. Google is a great partner for us lately. So this is just a tremendous set of resources that we have access to. Let's use this thing, right? And let's create a Stanford Food Systems Initiative on campus. That's one of our big goals. So the morning program is going to be three fantastic sets of speakers. So hang on for those. They're all in your program. Our introductions are going to be very brief. So we have little flyers on all the tables with more elaborate introductions of who everybody is. So 
Feel free to use those to check it out. And on, online, we have even more elaborate introductions with links to what a lot of these people do. There's about 40 people participating between the morning and the afternoon programs. And for the first time ever, cooking demos. So we're going to have two cooking demos today. And the menus that they're going to make are going to be served for lunch. So that's going to be pretty exciting. So we have these two fabulous uh, opening and closing keynote speakers. Greg Drescher is about to come up in just a minute. There's our cooking demos, one from in-home on Stanford campus and one we brought from the CIA. We're very excited. Uh, Arlen and I are going to talk about protein in just a few minutes. Then Joel Kimmons has flown from Atlanta, Georgia and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to host a panel of experts on a new concept he's calling behavior design that he's going to introduce at the Stanford Food Summit 5. Thank you, Joel. Um, the Feed Collaborative is a great result of some of the stuff that we've been doing on campus. So Hannah Mensing and Deborah Dunn are going to be presenting that. That's going to be really interesting. Uh, we're going to host a quick panel of student speakers that are doing cool things on campus. Uh, Will Rosenzweig, thank you for coming. I think I saw him right over there. He's going to help moderate this panel as we talk about this university research consortium thing that we're going to try to pull off. Then we're going to end with shifting protein on the plate. So that'll be that, and then Shirley Everett will close us all out in fine form. We'll have this incredible lunch prepared by yet another chef, Chef Andrew Main. Oh my gosh, it is going to be another fabulous lunch to talk about for years to come. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of student posters. Before you go to lunch, actually, we're going to drive you to the Fisher Center end and have you see student posters and a bunch of tables. And I just realized I forgot to put the community partner tables on the slides. So we'll have community partners and student posters. And in the afternoon, we have these really interesting breakout sessions. One will be on chocolate. One will be on coffee. One will be on beer and wine. We actually were going to do kombucha, but it fell apart. So it was going to be fermentable beverages, but now it's just beer and wine. One will be on fish with the largest panel of any of them. The fish people just crowded the place. So, uh, And then this wasn't really advertised ahead of time, but Joel's going to continue the behavior design discussion. We didn't actually want to pull you to see who wanted to show up because we weren't sure what to describe what it is. So you have to listen to what it is and then see if you want to show up. It's quite interesting. You all selectively said, yeah, we kind of equally want to go to all the panels. So very nice distribution of interest. We didn't register. You're not held to it. But everything's going to be twice, once from 2.30 to 3.15 and once from 3.30 to 4.15. Um, and Arlen and I and others will be continuing the protein conversation with a chef in our group. Shandon's going to participate in that. Tonight we're showing this screening of a, a, a great film and we're going to have a little trailer in the middle of today's presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be Food Summit 5. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.